With most discussions these days about hurricane recovery, there is still work to be done following the BP oil spill from 2010. Triumph Gulf Coast board members making some big decisions today about spending money set aside for those projects. News 13's Peyton Lo Cicero reports from Walton County. Walton County officials have been sitting on the edge of their seat. For years, they've been attempting to get an infrastructure project along this road, US 331. Officials say that having this project would bring major economic development and sustained growth for years to come. And the Triumph Gulf Coast Board has decided they approve. Right now, we talked about it being an economic desert because when you look down 331 from I-10, there's essentially no businesses there. And the reason there's no business in that area is because of the lack of water and sewer. Businesses can't develop without utilities. And the demand for commercial on Highway 331 is very, very strong. Uh, the problem is closing the gap with availability of utilities uh, on that four-lane highway. We've got natural gas, we've got electricity, we've got Wi-Fi, we have no water and sewer capacity. This will take care of that. The asking price is $1.7 million. That money will be used across four miles of U.S. 331 from Defeniac Springs to Freeport. We need jobs for Walton County and other parts of the Panhandle. We need good jobs. We need diversification, and that's what this is going to do. At the next meeting, the Triumph Gulf Coast Board and Walton County officials will work on their terms of agreement. I'm News 13's Peyton Lozisero, Panhandle Strong.